I was coming up North Main Street. I yeah. got it as far as um, by the gas station, and um, I heard a bang, bang, real loud. I mean, these were big bangs. I thought it was coming from the garage. I slowed down, I came up, and I got hit in the back of the car with the, with the bullet, and they were all running. I just dropped to the ground you in did? my house. I didn't mind living here. Till yesterday. Oh, uh, yeah, exactly. And not being able to even leave to go yeah. to the store. Cops had every all, all the driveways all blocked off. You couldn't even take a car out of the yard. You couldn't leave the house. You couldn't do nothing. And, and my driveway and was a crime scene. They <laughs> left that body sit laying on that step six until seven thirty last night. Six. And these six hours. and these all these kids, young kids, her kids, they're coming home, and that body still laying on the stairs. I seen one little girl who lives up on that on that third floor right there. She came home and they she had, they couldn't bring her around this way. Yeah, but she screamed. She seen that guy yeah. there and she ran, took off up them stairs, kid. I she wanna, she knew what was going on. I there. was telling my daughter, and I go be, look at the ground, six, don't look at anything old, else. I know there's a dead man on your front stoop, on your front stairs. But those holes that they made in the house there, those are just the ones that didn't go through the house. Don't Bottom line is, you should be able to feel secure and safe in your own home. And don't have to worry about somebody yeah. shooting you. Yeah, but you know what it is? When you're, when you're 17, 18 years old, you have no fear. You don't care. And you don't care who else you kill either. As long as it ain't you. It's too bad. You don't want to you know, see nobody die. 